a few days ago, the police officers, two police officers in the state of Ohio, uh, shot and unfortunately killed one woman who is pregnant. I wanted to give some of the understanding about some of the situations. And you want to, want to, de to determine whether this type of shooting is justifiable or not. And the most importantly is, how should you behave? How should you respond? How should you be acting in front of the police officer? And this, I will talk also for immigrants, Sometimes you come here, you know certain regulations in your country, here might be different. But these situations is happening for American born in America. Uh, but so don't come with sometimes with the preconceived ideas that this is what happening when police is going to stop, he's going to shoot you. So I want to show this video. And after showing, I will come with the commentary and see whether it's justifiable or not justifiable. Because I know, I've, for me, making videos about immigration, people talking about is America safe, not safe, uh, why people are getting shot, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So let's go to this video for the lesson purposes and we'll be able to figure out what is happening. And So... Here is the news I'm going to share with you, which is a breaking news. It's happened like two, three days ago. Uh, so I'm going to play and then we'll be able to see from here. We are following breaking news from Blendon Township. For the first time, we were able to see body camera video from two police officers involved in the deadly shooting of Takaya Young and her unborn child. We're going to give you your first look at scene video from the shooting that happened last Thursday, before we show you the body camera. So the woman is pregnant. So let's see what happens in this situation. Our video, we want to warn you, it is disturbing. Now's the time to mute the TV or leave the room if need be. Now, this incident happened at the Kroger on Sunbury Road in Blendon Township. That location is closed today, but is expected to reopen tomorrow morning. And clearly this incident has triggered outcries from Young's family. They, along with members of the community, are demanding answers. Again, we do want to warn you, these images may be graphic. NBC4 is bringing you team coverage of this developing story. All day, Caleb Michael and Eric Halperin have been talking to those people representing the family of Takia Young and those people in law enforcement. Jamie Ostroff has been watching the video second by second for a closer look at what played out in that Kroger parking lot. Jamie? Yeah, we have body-worn camera footage from each of the two officers who were involved in the incident last Thursday. So uh, when you are going to watch this video, what is going to happen? I don't want to hear this is a white police, or this is a black police, this is a white woman, this is a black woman. Let's look about police versus a citizen. That's what we want to see here. Put your rest aside and let's look objectively and make a decision whether the shooting was justifiable or not justifiable. That's what you want to look at it and nothing else. Then if you want to put your rest, put your rest later. But when you look at this video, don't come with a preconceived judgment that this is a white versus black, black versus white, black versus black, white versus white. Each video from each officer is a minute long as the confrontation with Takaya Young plays out in just a matter of seconds. The first officer to interact with Takaya Young approaches her car under the suspicion that she stole liquor from Kroger. Hey, stop. Hey, out of the car, out of the car. By the time the second officer gets to the car and walks in front of it, the first officer had asked Young to get out five times. He keeps asking. Young argues. You can hear the exchange on that officer's body-worn camera. Out of the car. Out of the car. They said your soul stuff, do not leave. Get out of the car. Then, then get out. No, then get out. Get out of the car. Young begins to drive. In this freeze frame, you can see. Okay. 
few things. Kroger is a store, just like Walmart and the other big store. The concept here is about uh, police is stopping you to ask you to get out of the car because you have been the store called the police officers that this woman and her friends stole liquor, alcohol. She, she agreed that I'm not the one who stole, my friend stole, but the police is saying, can you get out of the car? Let's go to the store to sort it out. The woman doesn't want to get out. And that is like five times. So let's go back a little bit. You will see there is one police officer in front of the car and another one is on the side. And what happens? Stuff, do not leave. Get out of the car. Then, then get out. No, then get out. Get out of the car. Young begins to drive. In this freeze frame, you can see the car make contact with the officer standing at the front of the car as his feet leave the ground. That is when that officer fires one shot through the windshield. We've paused the video to not show that deadly shot. When we pick up the video a moment later, you can hear the commands continue. The car rolls through the parking lot, stopping under the awning by the store. The video ends with officers busting the driver's side window to get Young out of the car. Okay, so up to that moment, what went wrong? This happened in Ohio. When the police tells you, get out of the car, you get out of the car. It's authority. I don't care whether you're black or white. These are simple instructions. Is a law enforcement officer. Number one, police were not there. They were called by the store, Kroger, that this person and her friends are thieves, stole liquor from this store. The car was even not on. When they come, the police knocked five times, get out of the car. The woman put down the, the window and said, I'm not getting out. And But she said, I'm not the one who stole. My friends stole, but you are with them. So if you know your friends, get out of the car. Let's go to the store to resolve the situation. The woman refused to go, get out. And not that, turn on the car, run through the police officer. What happened? The police officer shot Derek in the face. The woman, unfortunately, passed away. And she was pregnant. So, in this situation, was the shooting justifiable? I don't care whether the person is black, because I don't care much about the rest on this situation. What I want is, let's go to play by play in terms of this judgment. The shooting was justifiable. The problem, we give so much bad things to the police officers and we don't give accountability to people on what they are doing. Just because you are black, you are not immune to law and the order in the, wherever you are. And in case people do not know, the people, more people who are get shot by the police officers are white than the black people. But the media is showing more when black people are get shot because it's view and this craziness about all oh, black life matter, whatever nonsense that's happening. But in this case, particular, a hundred percent, I'm with police officers. We have seen so many cases like. People are stealing things in California and other states. Over there is different. So let's go to hear the attorney. What the attorney is saying, because you might be, oh, let's go and do some movements and everything. But let's go and look what the attorney is going to say. When the attorney was asked the same question, was the police right or wrong? Even any person with common sense, 
without wearing the this craziness about color of the skin of someone let's go and look at it okay now i did ask a use of force expert who is not connected to this case to review the exact same footage that we received I will have his take coming up at 4.30, including some of the questions he still has about what unfolded. Jared. All right, Jamie, thank you. We now turn to NBC4's Caleb Michael, who has been speaking to people who know Takaya Young. Yeah, Caleb, what are they telling you? Well, oh, Jenna and Jared, they tell me that Takaya Young was the life of the party. Anytime she was around, it was a really good time. They say she loved her two little boys with all of her heart, and she was also very close with her family. Now, as we all can expect, this is a very emotional day for the family. It was the first time they got to see that body cam video from the Blendon Township Police Department of that shooting. We were here this morning when the family came to the police department to view that video. For So the family didn't see the video before. So this is the family going to the police station for the first time and the lawyer to see the video. And you want to see what will be the reaction to see what, because when you see someone is being shot, we usually go direct, oh, is a black person has been shot by the police. But what is the color of the police before everything? Oh, it's white. Oh, this police officer is racist. But what happened if you see, nowadays we have the videos. Let's see. The very first time they were inside for less than 10 minutes and left not too long after that. In the statement from Blendon Township Chief of Police John Belford, he says this situation is a tragedy and is asking for prayers for the family during this time. I also spoke with Sean Walton, the attorney for Takaya Young and her family. He's been calling for this body cam video to be released all week long and says Young did not deserve to die. Are you surprised by what you saw? I'm not surprised uh, because based on what the police chief stated he saw, I think what is most surprising and what you know wasn't quite clear was how quickly the gun came out and why. Okay, the lawyer, first of all, the question was, are you surprised that the police officer shot the woman? The police officer, I mean, the lawyer, after seeing the video, I'm not surprised. Why? Because it is a justifiable use of force. You cannot go with the car to run in front of the police officer. No, never do that. Even me, if I'm the police officer, I'm not shooting just one, 10 times. That's the police officer did the right thing. But the lawyer, oh, the, the gun came so quickly. Yeah, you, you, you dropped so quickly to, to the police officer. What do you expect? It's just it's a tragedy, but more than anything, it's a crime. And he should be immediately terminated and arrested. No, police officer cannot be terminated. The thief who refused to comply with the, the, the lawful command and you run the car in front of the police, so was going to kill the police officer. That's why he was shot. If the police officer was on the side, it could be a different story. We say, oh, they could not shoot the car. They could just maybe follow the car, whatever, all other things. Though if you run with the car, they're supposed to shoot it too. But let's say you could say, okay, they could not use that excessive force. But you run in front of the police officer. So. You are not surprised that the police officer shot, but the gun came so quickly. It came after being run off by the, what? By this lady. Walton is also calling for the name of the officer who shot Takaya Young to be publicly released. He says that is what true accountability. Account no, there is no true accountability of that. They want the name of the police officer to be out so that you can start going to demonstrate in front of their homes. No. The woman did big wrong and the police officers were justifiable to use that excessive force and to do a shooting. If myself, I was in that situation as a police officer, I would do the same thing ability and transparency looks like but at this time we are told that officer is on leave pending review we'll go for you in blendon township i'm caleb michael nbc4 caleb thank you the police union is also talking about the body camera video released today they too are saying it is difficult to watch nbc4's eric halperin is in blendon township after talking with the union eric what else are they saying about this okay so that is the situation what happened so, because the situation happened in Ohio, 
first of all, is the common sense everywhere how to act when the police officer is doing something, like he's giving you the order. So I'm going to look on one of the landmark cases, Terry versus Ohio. This happened in 1960s, but it went up to Supreme Court and the decision is a landmark for so many regulations up to the current situation. It happened in Ohio. So let's go to look at what happened in Ohio in that particular case. So in this case, Terry versus uh, Ohio, we say as follows. Let me put in the front so that you can be able to see. Uh, so this is a landmark decision in which the court ruled that it is constitutional for an American police officer, obviously, to stop and freak a person they are reasonably sus suspect to be armed and involved in a crime. Specifically, the decision held that the police officer does not violate the Fourth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution prohibition of unreasonable searches and seizures when questioning someone even though the officer lacks a probable cause to arrest the person so long as the police so long as the police officer has a reasonable suspicious that the person has committed or is committing or is about to commit the crime the court rule or the court, the court also ruled that the police officer may perform a quickly a quickly surface search of the person's outer clothing for weapons if they have reasonable suspicion that the person is stopped is armed and uh, presently uh, dangerous. The reasonable suspicions must be based on a specific and articulate facts and not merely upon the officer's hunch. Meaning, in this situation, the police officer had a probable cause. The police officer was called by the Kroger store. The police officer has a legal end was in a legal, I mean, it was supposed to do the investigation of the crime which has been committed. Police officer, more than 10 times, asked the person to get out of the car. The person was told what was suspicious about that you have been identified, you have been involved in stealing the liquor in the store. And at the bad side, you will find the liquor might be just like $50 or $100. And you are a pregnant woman. Why can't you comply? Get out. Of I'm not the one who stole someone else. But oh, I want to act tough. You failure to comply. You drove the alert towards the police officer. Ran off through the police officer. Police officer shot you. The lawyer agreed. The police did the right thing, but uh, because you're black, you want to say, oh, we have to put the names in the public. For what? Why can't we take accountability that for the person did something wrong? So, this on this situation, uh, there is something they called it. So, the, this part... Uh, this situation of Terry versus that one is called this permitted police action has subsequent, uh, sub subsequently been referred to in short as stop and frisk or stop question and frisk or simply is called Terry stop. So the Terry standard was later extended to temporary detentions of persons in vehicles known as traffic stops or Terry stops. So what is this Terry stop? A traffic stop commonly referred to being pulled over. So when the police officer is pulling you over, any state in the United States of America, that is being referred to Terry stop. So a traffic stop commonly referred to being called pulled over is a temporary detention of a driver of a vehicle and its occupants by a police to investigate a possible crime or a minor violation of the law. That's what happened. So, if you go and look more about the Terry stop, a Terry stop in the United States allows the police officer briefly detain a person based on a reasonable suspicious involvement of involvement of in a criminal activity. Reasonable suspicion is, is a lower standard than a probable cause which is needed for arrest. When a police 
uh, when the when police stop and they search a pedestrian, this is common and is stop and frisk. When police stop an uh, automobile, this is also called as referred to or known as a traffic stop. If the police stop a motor vehicle, is also uh, that one. So in the end, this was part of the Supreme Court. Is one among the most famous case, which is called Terry Stop, which is going calling you to stop at any time with any traffic violation. They can look if there is a probable cause for anything. So there is no black life matter. There is no about this is a crime committed. The police was right. So uh, this happened to a black American, but I want to put this one for immigrants. So when you come to the United States, you have to know these laws. You have to know what you need to comply when the police officer is going to stop you. Put the hands on this wheel. You put it on the steering wheel. Like, get out, follow. Raise your hands, raise your hands. Don't play smart. Follow the stupid instructions. I remember while I was in the Navy, I was in the US Navy. I'm black. Obvious, basically, all my life I've never put in the sunscreen. But the regulations <laughs> were this way. Uh, obviously, that day it was so hot, they gave the sunscreen. We have to put in the sunscreen. So, some people, myself, I was one among the people saying, like, we don't need a sunscreen. Only white people need a sunscreen. The person was like, petty officer, <laughs> like, say, I don't care what the color you are. The law is everybody must put in the sunscreen when this is the degrees. So whether you are black, you are yellow, you are white, I don't care. So we all put in the sunscreen. So the law is put your hands up, put your, get out, get out. Simple like that. There is nothing about white or black in this situation. And if we talk, we play the card of white and black, white people are the one more shot by the police than the black people. But the only thing is people don't talk much about when white people are shot because it's not in the news. Oh, black life matter. All life matter. I don't care whether you are blue, white, yellow, whatever it is. Even I was in the police officer. In this situation, I will do the same thing. Even if the person there was black and I'm a black police, if you run through the police officer and I'm the police officer with a gun, I will do the same thing. So, this is what happening. What I need you to do is to read some of these comments from other people. What other people talk about similar situation. So this is the video from the uh, Columbus NBC, NBC, uh, NBC4. So let's go and look to read some of the comments. Uh, person says, the moral of the story, don't try to run over the police officers. If she got out of the car and didn't try to run over the police officers, uh, she would be, uh, I mean, to run over the police officer, she would be alive. I agree. Such a tragedy all the way, uh, all the way around. Yes, it is a necessary tragedy. She could not, it was, there was no reason for her to die. Because it was simple. Get out, go to say that you are not the thief. Uh, this one says, uh, reporter paints a lovely picture of Miss Young in light-hearted, upbeat voice, he, she, uh, he says. She was the light of the party. She was blah, blah, blah. Yeah. As if she is an innocent victim and had no part in the in her own fate. Who was uh, who was she, who was she really? Whatever. The reporter didn't mention that uh, her very own grandmother who raised her and her restraining order against her that she fled from police in the past. Most likely she stole uh, in this situation, refused to listen to orders from officers and ran her vehicle into the police officer in effort to flee uh, this time too. Didn't see anything in this video that was disturbing because uh, you blocked it because they said it's too disturbing, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, a greater judge that uh, I think you find to go that any of us knows exactly what happened. He will judge uh, and no one will get away with anything. She was told to get out of the car because she stole from Kroger and then she tried to run over the police, the cops. 
That's what is that one. Is this justifiable? Yes, justified. The root of the problems, the problem is not what she did or how the police uh, reacted, but the way she was raised as a parent. I have I have to make sure that my daughter is, edu uh, is educate well, show her, I mean, show her love, respect, and tolerance to others. That's very true. Follow this is that's what they teach you from kindergarten or from home. What you need to do when you, you get uh, called by the police. I learned that unborn child is only called that when the main media, mystery media wants a narrative. I also learned that uh, I learned that you do not try to run over the cop uh, with your car. Yes, this is another topic I'll come to talk about. Usual, which when they say, like if you go to CNN, NBC, MSNBC, they tell you, oh, when you are pregnant, you are not, that is not a child. They can do abortion until the child is until he's born. Before that, you can do whatever you want. But when, by the law, if if you this case, like the person died who is pregnant, they say uh, there is a child, unborn child. So they tell unborn child when there is crime like this one. But when something like you do abortion, they do not talk about it. So that is another topic I'll come to in one day to do a reaction, like the concept of what is called double homicide. Uh, when you maybe you kill a person who is uh, who is pregnant, what happens? Uh, this is what she said. The other girls were taking it, so she knew uh, there was a theft. Was it a gang of shop shoplifters? That's it. Don't you try to run uh, a cop over. Fight it in the court. That's what you were supposed to do. You forgot to say the police asked her. Uh, to the woman, get out of the car, then hit the accelerator to the police officer. She did not follow the command. She did not follow the command. Uh, her action caused her death. The officer was legal investigating the legitimate crime. This is what I was talking talk about, about the Terry versus uh, Ohio. Uh, she has to get out of the car. If she's innocent, it, uh, it all work out. If she's not explain, uh, not wanting to follow uh, a lawful order, accelerating by trying to push the police, uh, the officer with the car ended in the lawful but awful shooting. There was a time where if she stole, they would hang you. Uh, whether she did or did not, uh, they know because blah, 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 whatever she's uh, explained. They had access to the vehicle after the shooting, whatever. What are you going to do? Shoot me? Yep. No more questions. People, raise your kids right. She brought this to herself on herself. She did that. Uh, she did hit the man uh, with her car. She deserved everything she got. So before she gets shot, she asked if she were going to shoot her before she tried to run the cop over. Yes, you say, I'm going to shoot you. Yeah, if you shoot, you come run over, I shoot you. And that's what happened. Two things I've noticed. Uh, right after she said, are you going to shoot me? Is when uh, she tried to pull off. Uh, also, I find out very yelling how fast she got out of the way after she got, uh, she got shot, whatever. Yeah. After he, got, uh, after he shot her. Yeah, obviously, you run me off, I get out, I shoot you. That's how it's happening. Uh, she asked just before her attempted vehicular homicide of a police. No, it's not about the homicide. Yeah. Before she refused to get out of the car and tried to run the police officer. Uh, this tragedy uh, occurred because uh, Takia Young was never taught boundaries and respect for the law as a requirement for living in a free society. This reminds me the story of the guy uh, go, uh, going, what are you going to do? Stab me? Moments before he was stabbed. <laughs> I'm laughing. It's not funny, but it's funny too. Like she knew, like, what are you doing? You cannot run over the police officer. You can't. She was challenging them with that question. Very bad decision making. Very bad uh, decision making from the deceased. Poor officer uh, who was doing their job 
uh, and had to make a life or death decision uh, for the criminal and the, uh, his partners or her partners. In approximately uh, 50 milli, uh, milliseconds, the criminal was, driv uh, was given order by authority. Uh, you don't listen to authority, you are punished. You put authority in potential death situations, you put them down. Now the instantaneous decision he had, uh, he had to make will stress him out immensely and possibly ruin his life. Yeah, because people want to start to give the address. It is really simple, kids. Put your arrogance in check and comply. So those are some, there are so many comments. Demanding answers. What? Why are you demanding answers? He's talking about to the lawyer. She was in the store, stealing alcohol, while pregnant, attempted to run over the officers with her car on camera. What answers do they want? Those are the answers. I agree. So these are all of these comments are this one. The police officer didn't, know, didn't do anything wrong. She used her car as a weapon to try to run over the police officer. I was once in a similar situation in a parking lot. Individual, individual purposely, uh, purposely tried to run me over. I had time to draw my weapon, but I decided not to shoot because there was too many people around fearing a stray bullet might hit a bystander. Went on pursuit, called for the backup, and got him peaceful. This guy uh, charged for assaulted with a deadly weapon his car. So use the car. This is what you get. Why do they refuse to follow off orders? The killing will be justified, but there are no doubt officer did not have to shoot. No. I, I, myself, I will shoot you too. You cannot run over with the, that one. She could have spent the same energy just getting out of the car. That is, uh, he used it to raise the gun and fire. She obviously would be uh, easily in, identified and arrested. You run over. The police was not aside. You can run. They could get into the car. But the point is when you run over, in front of the police officer, that what is going to happen, people. So, this, if you look all the comments, they say this is justifiable. So, don't bring your blackness in every stupidity, people. There is no way to run over to the police officer and the police officer not to shoot you just because you are black. No. You are pregnant. Why are you dealing with alcohol in the first place? Liquor. And the stealing. How much is the liquor? Oh, people. Let's be like, accountable to our lives. When you decided to become pregnant, there are responsibilities you need to follow. Since you were a child, you have been told when the police tells you one, two, three, you have to follow. Is a tragedy, something avoidable. All lives matter. I'm so upset with this situation because not only her she died, but unborn child didn't see this world because of stupidity. So that's my take. The shooting was justifiable. It's unfortunately person died. The moral of the story, follow the law. Never steal. You try to get out of the car, get out of the car. You could go to the court, go to the front desk about the at the Kroger, say I'm not the thief. The thief is so and so and so because you know them, your friends. If they call you a snitch, it's up to you, but you save your life. If you go to the court, you can deal with the court matter, but not to get, you refuse to follow the order and accelerate the car in front of the police officer. That means you could kill the police officer. So that's my take. What about your situation? Is this justifiable? If you are in that situation, that lady, what would you do? 
That's my opinion. And this is EPM talking from Missouri, United States of America. Thank you so much. I appreciate everyone. I need to hear your opinion, your take, your comment on this situation. Write down on this matter.